It's your favouritest person in the world, Alexander Man. That's me and your favouritest other person in the world, Alexander Sandalis. We're here today to give you the rundown on why mice should be extinct. Well, here's the thing. They're fucking plague in New York City. They're fucking everywhere. But if they're extinct, then we can't do a lot of the animal studies we're doing on it to find out some great research. Do you remember that scene in Bad Boys 2 where my, my Lawrence is the rats fucking? Yo, man! They fuck just, just like us! us. <laughs> I remember when I first watched that as a kid, I lost my shit. Mike! Mike! Put together, man! Mike! Mike! These fucking rats, man! Dude! Fuck you, just... dude! <laughs> Anyways, we're here today to uh, review... Some of them are different. What? We don't usually do the genre of music right here. Yeah! Yeah! How you doing, well, Felisa? Do we? Well, Mike should notice... Rap, so we do this genre all the time. He's the rapper from Lincoln Park, and he's gone solo. So I'm oh, my bad. So I'm assuming that this is rap. That's not bad because you ain't too familiar with Lincoln Park. And I still listened to Lincoln Park about three albums ago because they just got super trash. I mean, R.I.P. to Chester Banton, amazing singer, trauma his whole life, absolute tragedy. But needless to say, the last few albums were trash. <laughs> Coming from trash to absolute but, trash. But uh, and. The, the whole time, if you if you know Mike Shinoda, he went off with a group and did an album with, with Fort Minor called The Rising Tide, which was one of I remember that shit. Which was an amazing album, like, yo, with 20% luck, 50% oh, skill, 50% concentrated uh, uh, power, uh, will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, 100% reason to remember, reason to remember my name. Uh, and Holy uh, shit. And then, um, where'd you go? I miss you so. Nah, I just remember the other was, one. Yeah, they had, they had a lot of good songs. That whole album was dope. That whole album I smashed in my high school years. And they never put out, Fuck. and they never ever put out another album. And I put that album above every Linkin Park album because I just love rap. You just took it back, bro. So I'm excited to see what Mike Shinoda's got in store for us, especially after everything that's happened within the group of Linkin Park. So, well, the track's called "About You," featuring on Black Bear. Let's get right to it. It's Mike about Shinoda. Me? Let's do it. It sounds like a weekend shit right now. Maybe, maybe Black Bear's The Weeknd's different alias. Hey, good one. This is a cat around it, wonder where I found it. This is that wake up, make your agent, have your Tory round it. This is that drama, come on, pain, and ain't no way around it. Cause somehow still it's hard to know what I can say about it. Mike Lowry. Mike Lowry. I'm Mike Lowry. That's too short though. Maybe he doesn't have a lot. Maybe because he doesn't have a lot to say anymore. Sorry bro, but you know what I'm saying though, right? Yeah. But, I'm just out there bro. Mario Bang's actually quite bad. How can I make it? Put a smile on it, change my attitude, and even though it's not about you, everything is up. Is that Black Bear? Nah, I think it's Mike Shinoda, but with uh, a lot Mike Shinoda, about you, featuring Black Bear. It's not bad, man. It's not bad. It's okay. That's what I was thinking, like. It's okay, like, I'm just glad Mike Shinoda's gone solo, because I've always, I've always wanted him to, so this is a good start. I, it's kind of weird, because I haven't really heard him over uh, too much bassy tracks like that before. He's not used to it, because normally they have that slight rock influence. Yeah, right. It's got, I don't know, I was going to say, like, trap. It's not trap influence. Uh, what is it? It's kind of trap. It's, hold on real quick. It kind of is a little trap. Yeah? Am I right? But, um... Yeah. Look at the look. This shit. That shit. That's pretty trap. Yeah? Alright, mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I just want to check. I got the right genre. But yeah, I've never seen or heard Mike do anything like this before, so... I thought that... I liked the beat. I liked the... Uh, I liked towards the end the vocal switch up. Yeah, definitely. Kept it more uh, refreshing. I liked the little feature from Black Bear, but... Yep. I was... thought the verses were too short. I thought the hook was too much. But if you listen to his lyric, I'm, I'm going to give it a pass because the whole lyric is like, oh shit, am I running out of things to say? That very self-aware line. I'm like, all right, makes sense. That's actually fair. I didn't even hear that line. Still, there was too much hook. 
I just want more raps. I know if you ain't got shit to say, but I just want raps, you know? I just want fucking raps, bro. So, you guys, if you guys want to see us more, listen to these more, I don't want to say, more, how do we do to guy about us like these? Less known, but like... He's one of the... He's really well known. He's a rapper and he's really well known. So, like, I, would, I don't know if you can box us into anything else. Less relevant. Yeah, less, less relevant. relevant. Part of my... I misspoke. Less relevant. <laughs> We're jungle beats, and we like anal beats, not in our anuses, but in each other. You got a problem with that? Fuck are you, some type of anal bead if racist? You would, if you would like a rubber ducky anal bead chain so the ducks get progressively smaller for your bath, contact us on 00 000 000 quack. And you can get an anal bead duck for nine ninety nine.